Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him glory. Give him honor. Thank him for waking you up this morning because a lot of people did not make it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Every day is a new beginning to be thankful, to be grateful, to be mindful. Excuse me, to be merciful, you know. Hallelujah. But um, sorry, I'm starting off with such a graphic. But, it, you know, um, this have been I've been saying this for months now almost actually a couple of years, um, God told me, he says, there's an assignment. There's a demonic assignment against our youth. There's a demonic assignment against all of us, but more so geared toward our youth because remember, and I'm going to just make it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Good morning, everyone. Um, you understand that this is a pagan country. You understand this is a demonic country. You understand that most pedophiles run this country. You understand that they are the elite. It does not matter. Um, point blank in the story, they are still sacrificing our children to the God of Molech, to their God of Molech. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, so that's what's happening. Now, you don't see that on an open spectrum, but honestly, it is. That's why they raised the, um, the bell. You know, the the thing of Baal, I forgot the Tower, the Tower of Baal or something like that. But my whole thing is, people, you have to pray over your children. This is not a game. You cannot forget to pray over your children. So I want y'all to listen to this story. What's happening? Provoked attack by a homeless man in Queens. The police say the boy was sitting in front of his grandparents' house in Kew Gardens yesterday evening. When this guy just grabbed the child, threw him to the ground, it happened near Metropolitan Avenue and Leopards Boulevard. The boy struck his head on the pavement and was taken to the hospital. The suspect, 35 years old, he's described as emotionally disturbed. He is under arrest. And this is not the first child attacked by a homeless person this year. In January, a nine-year-old boy and a 16-year-old sister were attacked in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn. In March, an eight-year-old autistic boy was punched on a subway in Lower Manhattan. And then just last month, a man punched a 10-year-old boy, knocking out his teeth in Hell's Kitchen. Police made an arrest in all three incidents. All right, so y'all heard that. Just all of a sudden, these people just running up on kids. That's a spirit. That's a demonic spirit, said the Lord. Church, let me tell you something. Y'all so busy bickering about money, trying to get all this. Let me tell you something. We have an assignment. Those that are truly called, we have an assignment. And the assignment is to help the people that are in need. The assignment is to pray. The assignment is to fast. The assignment, hallelujah, is to stop these demonic entities. And you cannot do that if you are not pure. Come on, somebody righteous, because God says, prayer of the righteous at valid much. I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick of these demons. And when I say that, I mean it with every fiber of my being. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You cannot. Let me take this out. You have to do it God's way. You can't go around beating everybody, trying to kill everybody. That's not what I'm saying. The way they did it, they fasted. They prayed. They called on God. God, the power of God, we need you. Back up these enemies. Back up these demons. From the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible, it was the power of God that backed up these demonic forces. And that's what it's going to take. It's not going to take legislation. Our government, they don't care. I'm going to tell you right now, they don't care. As a matter of fact, they want it to happen. Oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Y'all better understand, this is a spiritual war. And they're not playing. They're not playing. And what y'all need to know is that God is allowing it. So why is God allowing it? So there's a lot of things going on here. But God was telling me, y'all got to pray over y'all schools. Y'all got to pray over your cities, your states. You got to pray over your children. Pray for other people's children. Pray for the children, period. Pray for everybody. It's praying time. It's praying time like never before, thus said the Lord. He said these demonic entities are not just trying to hurt us. They're trying to kill us. Let me go ahead and simplify this for you. God says the enemy knows he has but a short time. So this is what he's doing. I'm taking out everybody that I can with me because he knows that his, his future is is in the fire of lake. I don't care who don't believe it. Hell is real. And he knows he's going there. So his assignment is to take as many people as he can. All right. Let me tell you what our assignment is. Our assignment is to stop him. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God early this morning. 
Our assignment is to stop the enemy at any mean. I'm talking about by any means necessary as far as in the realms of right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to have the power of God these days. You have to have wisdom. You have to have discernment. How you do that's apostle. You got to get in your word. You got to fast. You got to pray. And then we don't need no spooky Christians. Understand what I mean by that is y'all so legalistic. And so y'all ain't got no power. Oh, I just said something. Uh, you ain't got no power. You too busy trying to be a star. I don't want to hear all of that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. We need people that go into the secret place and come out with power. What's the secret place? What you do in your secret. When you lay on that threshing floor, when you fast, when you pray, when you call out the nation's name, when you call out the city's name, when you call out the state name, when you say, God, I stand in the gap for these people. God, I stand in the gap for this city. God, I stand in the gap for this state. God, I stand in the gap for this nation. God, I stand in the gap for the people of God and even the sinners because everybody need prayers these days. It is not about just making a living. It is about, uh, let me tell you, everybody's talking about making a living, doing this. Can I tell you something? If you really read your Bible, they did not work like that. God blessed them supernaturally. They're one. Can I tell you why we were made? We were made to worship God. Y'all sitting up there trying to worship the God of this world. Yeah, I say that by doing what you're doing, because all he did was offer you. If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you riches. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. It's the same deal. It's always been the same deal. And yet God is saying, if you worship me, I will bless you because that's your inheritance. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Y'all working for something that's already yours. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning up in here. All you got to do, we were made to worship the Lord thy God with our mind, our body, our soul, our life. And the enemy, he's come to, he's come to confuse you. Oh, come on, somebody come to subdue you. He, so he entices you with entertainment. Oh, come on, somebody, money, sex, drugs, whatever your fix is. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. <laughs> well, all right. God bless you. I'll be back on here probably um, face to face because I'm ready. I, I like to see y'all. You know, I've been under the weather. I'm feeling better. Oh, I rhymed this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> y'all know I'll be on one. All right. God bless you. God keep you. Keep prayed up. Stay prayed up. This is a warfare. You know, you can't be an in and out Christian. One day you're praying, the next day you're having, doing whatever you want to do. We got to stay on assignment. And it doesn't matter who's with us, who's not, who's listening. That that's Don't even worry about that. You just do what God tell you to do. Hello? All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am a soldier of the Lord. I am a soldier of the end time army. I am a general of the end time army. Come on, somebody. Roll out soldiers because this is what we do. God bless you. <laughs>